Hello guys, now in this session, we are going to set up the SPFX development environment. So to set up the development environment, what are the things needed? Let's look into that. So guys, to work with SPFX, you need to install Node.js, we need to install Yo, we need to install Gulp, then we need to install SPFX, then once it is being done, we need to verify which NPM model in our system is being installed. Once we verify that, then we will install the Visual Studio code where we will write the code for SPFX. Once it is being done, then we will set up the app catalog. This is the place where we basically deploy our custom solutions. Once it is being done, then we will create a site collection where we will test our solutions. Guys, all these softwares are pretty much very important to start our development journey in SPFX. So guys, here again, I am going to refer the compatibility chart which I have shown you in our earlier session. So if you remember that, this is the compatibility chart from the Microsoft where we are referring which of the SPFX version is being supported by Node.js. So you will see that we are going to work with SPFX 1.14 and for this we need Node.js LTS 14 or 12. We are going to install LTS 14 and with the help of that we are able to get the NPM version 5 or version 6 and for this we are going to use TypeScript version 3.9 and React version 16.13.1 that we will see in our upcoming sessions. But first we will install Node.js. So how do we will install Node.js? Let's look into that. So to install Node.js, you need to come here and type node.js.org. So this will take you to the Node.js site. And from here, we need to come over here and then we need to select the other downloads option because you will see that in the latest it is showing 16.15 LTS which we don't require because it is not being supported by SPFX. So to get the previous version we need to click on other downloads. Once we click on other downloads then we need to come over here and click on previous releases. Once we come into the previous releases, then you will find that there are many Node.js version. So here it is having the pagination for those versions. So click on for page number 5 over here, which is not also containing. So we will proceed further and look for version 14. So the last one was 14.19.2. We need to install 14.19.0. So we need to click on downloads. Once we do that, then we need to find the node version 14.919.0 MSI. So this is the installer file for 64-bit machine. We need to install this. Once we click on it, so now you will see that it is get downloaded. So next we need to open it and the installation of the Node.js is pretty much straightforward. You just need to follow the wizard and over here you need to accept the term. If you want to read it, you should read it. I will accept it and click on next and it will ask you to the location. Click on next Then again click on next and I will select over here this one automatically install the necessary tool. I will click on next and click on install. So it is installing. So guys, now installation is being done for Node.js. Click on finish. So now it is installing the chocolatey software which we have accepted while doing the installation other tools. So this is the same thing. These are the additional software which is being installed. As I mentioned that we need to install other additional software. So you will see that it is installing Chocolaty. Chocolaty is very important software. Suppose that if you want to automate any kind of a installation process that you can easily do with the Chocolaty software. It is a kind of a program manager I can say where you can write all the installation steps if you are having anyone that you can easily write inside the Chocolaty software. So you will see that what it did, it first installed the Python. Why it has installed Python? Because Chocolaty required that Python. Once it is being done, then what it is doing? It installed the Chocolaty and after that it is installing the required software which is written in the Chocolaty program manager thing. So that is what it is doing. It is executing those steps over here. As it is taking time, so I am pausing it. So once it is being done, I will start. So guys, Node.js installation is been completed. Now we will check that what version we have installed. So to check it, we need to write node minus minus version into. Then you will find that it is version 
0.0. Now next we need to check that what npm version it has installed. So let's look into that. We need to type npm minus v. Enter. Then you will see that it has installed 6.14. 0.16. So guys, now we have done the installation Node.js. Next, we need to install Yo and Gulp. So let's look into that how we will do it. So to do the installation, we need to write npm install minus g Gulp and Yo. So these two things we want to install because it is very much required to do the development within SPFX. So let's enter. So it has started the installation for Gulp and Yo. So again, I am pausing over here. Once it is being completed, then I will come back so that I will save you time as well. So guys, the installation of Gulp and you has been completed and you will see that it has installed Gulp version 4.0.2 and Yomen version 4.3.0. Now next, let's look into that what we are going to install. So next, we are going to install SPFX generator. So how to do that? Let's look into that. So to install SPFX generator, first we will clear it. And then we need to write npm install minus g for global at the rate Microsoft slash generator hyphen SharePoint. So this will help us to generate the SPFX boilerplate code. So let's enter. So it again started the installation. So till the time it is installing, I will pause it so that I will save some time for you. So guys, now SPFX generator installation is being completed. So now next look into that what we are going to install. So guys, next we are having the verification steps of NPM module. What are the NPM module we have installed so far? So how we will do that? Let's look into that. So to check what are the NPM module we have installed, it is pretty much straightforward. We need to write npm list minus g at the global level and check the depth equal to 0 and enter. And this will return all the npm module which is being installed so far. So you will see that we have installed the generator SPFX generator. Then we have installed gulp. Then we have yo. So with the help of this command, we can easily verify what are the npm module is being installed globally in our system. So let's proceed to the next step. So now we have to install Visual Studio Code. So let's do it. So to install Visual Studio Code, you can search Visual Studio Code and click on download. So once we are into the download page, we will click on Windows and you will see that it has started downloading of the Visual Studio Code software. So we have to wait for it. So once it is being downloaded, click on it. It will open it and we need to again follow the wizard. So click on I accept agreement. Next, we want to create a desktop icon. You can do it. Click on next and click on install. So this will install the Visual Studio Code. It is done. Let's click on finish. So guys, once Visual Studio Code installation is being done, you will get the Visual Studio Code software like this. This is the editor where we are going to write the code for SPFX. So now let's proceed for the. So guys installation wise we have completed most of the thing. Now we have remaining setup of app catalog as well as creating a site collection. So these two steps has prerequisite. We need to create a tenant in Microsoft Office 365 that we will do in the next session. So in the next session I will show you how to join the developer program or Microsoft 365. Once we join the Microsoft 365 developer program, then we are in a position to create the tenant. And once Microsoft 365 tenant is being created, then we will find many options and say many of the product within that particular Microsoft 365 tenant. But we are going to use the SharePoint online majorly in our SPFX development journey. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.